Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, I'm going to go over some comparison shopping math so that you can get the best value when you're shopping at the supermarket. All of the examples in this video are based on prices I saw on my recent trip to the supermarket. So let's do a first example. Let's say you're buying toilet paper and one package has 24 rolls for $6.99 and another package has 72 rolls for $17.99. Which option is cheaper? I'm going to explain a method so that you can figure this out in your head very quickly. The first step is you should round the numbers to the nearest dollar because that'll be good enough for our estimation purposes. The next step is I want you to get the two quantities equal. And the method we're going to use is we're going to scale up the smaller size. So in this case, 24 rolls is the smaller size, and we're going to scale this up until it's 72 rolls. So if we buy one package, we get 24 rolls. If we buy two packages, we're going to get 48 rolls, and it will be a cost of $14. If we buy a third package, we'll end up with 72 rolls for a cost of $21. And that brings us to step three, which is now we have two quantities of 72 rolls and we simply need to pick the one which is cheaper. So it's very obvious that 72, dollar, 72 rolls for $18 is the better value. So in this case, 72 rolls for $18 is better than 24 rolls for $7. Let's do another example. Let's say you're shopping for oatmeal and one container has 18 ounces for $1.49, and another package has 42 ounces for $2.99. Which package offers the better value? We'll go through our three-step process. We'll first round the numbers to an even amount, because that will be good enough for estimation purposes. Then we'll scale up the smaller size. So if we buy two packages of the 18 ounce oatmeal, we'll end up with 36 ounces of oatmeal for $3. Now in this case, we don't have the exact same quantity for both packages. In one case, we have 36 ounce, and in another, we have 42. However, what we do have is we have the same dollar amount for two different amounts of oatmeal. So would you rather get 36 ounces for $3 or 42 ounces? The answer is easy. You're going to want to pick the one which is giving you more oatmeal for $3. So in this case, 42 ounces is a better value. In a third example, let's say you have 10 ounces of potato chips for $1.99 or 16 ounces for $2.99. Which is cheaper? We'll first go ahead and round the numbers. Then we'll try scaling up the smaller size. So if we buy two packages of the 10 ounce potato chips, we'll end up with 20 ounces for $4. Now unfortunately, unlike our other examples, neither the quantity matches nor the dollar amounts match. So we cannot directly compare 20 ounces of potato chips versus 16 ounces. So we're going to need to do something different. What we'll do is we'll figure out the unit cost for the 10 ounce package of potato chips. So if 10 ounces cost $2, that means every ounce of potato chips in that package costs 20 cents. And now what we'll do is we'll scale that up to 16 ounces. So buying 10 ounces for $2 is basically the same as buying 16 ounces at a rate of $3.20. Now we can compare the two options and we can conclude that buying the 16 ounce package of potato chips for $3 is the better value. Let's do a final example of soda pop. You have two options. One is a two liter bottle for $1. The other is 24 cans for $5.99. Which option is the better value? We'll go ahead and round the number, 599. 
Now, instead of scaling up directly, we're going to need to convert some units because the two liter bottle is based on the metric system and the 24 cans are based in ounces. So how can we convert ounces into liters? Well, luckily, if you take any can of soda, it's already written on there. A 12 ounce can of soda is roughly equal to 355 milliliters or 0.355 liters. So doing a little bit of math, that means one liter is roughly 2.8 12 ounce cans. Or a two liter bottle is roughly 5.6 cans. So now we're comparing the options of 5.6 cans for a dollar versus 24 cans for six dollars. And we can go ahead and scale up the smaller size. So if we buy four two liter bottles, that's roughly getting 22 and a half cans for $4. We finally need to pick the cheaper option. So in this case, once again, neither the quantities nor the dollar amounts exactly match. But you can see that on, with the two liter bottle, you're basically paying the rate of 22 and a half cans for $4, which is almost 24 cans. So the question is, for about 24 cans, do you want to pay $6 or do you want to pay $4? And it's obvious the cheaper option here is the 2 liter bottle. So I wanted to include this example because it's not always the case that buying in bulk is going to be cheaper. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can also check me out on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Presh Talwalker.